Hey, what's going on? Ed Fletcher here, and I just wanted to jump on on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day and say happy MLK Day to you all. Um, it is a happy day. It's a day that we should celebrate the, the progress we've made, but also reaffirm our commitment to continuing to uh, execute his dream and move America towards a more uh, equal country in which we all uh, can strive towards the American dream. Uh, I'll post a video later, but um, you know, thinking about the Martin Luther King, time Martin Luther King Jr. was alive, um, America was a very different place. It was a time in which uh, racial differences were uh, etched into how people governed and there were white restaurants and black restaurants and black people were not allowed to sit at the, the front of the bus. And thankfully, a lot has changed. A lot has changed in uh, what we see on television, uh, what we see in sports, and what we see uh, throughout society to some extent. But if you look at incarceration rates, education, achievement, and Fortune 500 companies, uh, you will quickly see that uh, there are, there's a lot of progress to be made. Um, and then the, the big elephant in the room is the, the fact that um, in, in part because of, of some of this progress we've seen, we see um, white supremacy um, being more vocal and present and powerful than we have in a very long time. Uh, before Trump, uh, you looked at people pushing back towards uh, the presidency of Barack Obama, and it was relatively easy to overlook. Uh, then came Charlottesville and Trump, and, and, and suddenly we have a Republican Party that feels like um, they are the aggrieved and that um, or many of them feel like people of color are taking what is, is rightfully theirs. Uh, they, um, they're telling you what they see and you saw the Oath Keepers charged with a seditious con conspiracy now. Um, they believe that a race war is, is coming or is inevitable or is, or is what they want because they believe that they want to protect uh, their interests. Uh, Obviously, it's a very troubling time for for me as, as an African American, for for people in general, and for America. Um, we need to to stand up to um, stand up for uh, the rights of of the individual, um, but also the the collective. Um, democracy is literally in in jeopardy, and and it's time for Americans to, to defend it. Um, President Biden gave a speech the other day in which he compared um, the efforts of the Republican Party with um, segregationists, and he, and he got some pushback for it, but um, I don't know how far off he was. Um, in general, the Republican Party led by former President Trump, are trying to change the rules to make it harder for people to vote and to make it easier for Republican legislatures to throw out the electors selected by the, the, the electoral process. So what he wanted after the, the last election was states like uh, Georgia to their legislatures to come together and say, well, forget what happened at the polls. That was all bullshit. And we really won. Well, now they're making it easier to do that in Georgia and other states across the South, where they have grown a pool of candidates that um, believe these things and that are subservient to the ideas of former President Trump. Um, so on this MLK Day, please do celebrate 
the progress we've made, but let's keep our, our head on the swivel and get in the game because um, things may get worse before they get a lot better. But it's gonna take the, the work of all of us to, to make things better. All right, that's all I gotta say. Give me your thoughts in the comments and thank you as always for watching this. Uh, Ever Forward, gonna be reviving the interview show uh, this, this month.